quo. Is there any advice that you can offer to help guide the more traditional view of UFOs in terms of the academic institutions and how we as a society can sort of orient ourselves to the difference between positive and negative appearances of UFOs and how we conceive of them? We are those of Quo and have received and appreciate this far-reaching and multifaceted query, which on our own level, even outside of channeling, challenges us in terms of how best to approach and relate to and serve your people, as your peoples are a highly volatile one. It is quite difficult to predict what mode of service would be most efficacious for us and for you in eliciting a greater awakening to love and to the power of non-judgmental acceptance. That is the key to working together, that you may, in a society participate more directly and consciously in the universe, in your neighborhood, with and among other sources of intelligence, that you may finally breach your isolation. It is difficult for us, and made all the more challenging that, as you know, we too have a loyal opposition who, for every act we seek to make, seeks themselves a counteraction, their objectives being to weld and preserve power where it can be exercised by those of the elite to reduce transparency, to sow seeds of that confusion that blends with fear and paranoia, such that power used in the dominating sense can be exercised. Those of our negative brethren have quite a fertile field within which to exercise their mechanisms in this regard, as your governmental powers, corporate and military authorities have worked to keep such understandings undisclosed to your peoples, creating an Ambience of misinformation, disinformation, and a true information that becomes very difficult for your discerning minds to navigate through and to know into which category or categories any particular piece of data may fall. It is a fraught landscape for both, or rather all parties, those of your world and those of the higher densities, both positive and negative. That which the positive polarity seeks to break, to use your terms, is that which keeps the self enslaved to concepts and limited ideas about who and what the individual self is, and who and what the societal self is. If those of the positive polarity are to break, it is in service to healing. It is to break those shackles clasped tightly around the wrist or the ankles or the blinders which the self has placed over the self size. Breaking is not sought to sow chaos or create greater harm or disintegration such that your peoples lose their capacity for coherency and coherent collective action. Nor, at the same time, do we necessarily seek to treat your world as fragile 
We seek the least interference possible with those of your people that we may safeguard the free will of all involved, that we may not artificially, so to speak, influence the evolution of your peoples and the choices that only your peoples can make. We attempt to operate only within the bounds of the sanction offered by the request for service which may be articulated by a need by an awareness, by a broadening of understanding that opens the door for our operation. We have no, so to speak, engineering designs, social or otherwise. We have only ourselves to offer our information our services, our energies. We have attempted and will continue to attempt offering ourselves in service in this regard. When, if, and how such service is accepted will of its own by the nature of such dynamics create ripples and have consequences for that which, as is true in any evolutionary sense, accepts or resists a new reality. Open-mindedness has not always been the hallmark of your peoples or your institutions. Though you grow ever forward in that journey, many are also the regressive energies very much active and alive upon your world, which would move in the other direction, closing down and building the walls higher.